Well, talk about the other, talk about women that you would say is right up in front in your mind that truly attained the power and truly were able to rise above. Well, the first name that comes to mind is Catherine Hepburn. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't write about Catherine Hepburn because she has done such a good job herself, actually. Of course. Her memoir is wonderful, called Me. She started out as a debutante, dilettante, you know, from a prominent family. Her father was a, an abortion doctor, actually, a clap doctor. Yeah. Urologist. Uh, her mother was a feminist suffragette. You know, she came from interesting roots. Oh, yes. And she did, uh, she, her initial Broadway performance was panned. I think some critic said she ran the gamut of emotions from A to B. I mean, <laughs> I mean there are only two emotions in women. Yes, how do you come back from that? But she did. She did. She had the foresight to purchase the play and was offered a contract at MGM, took it, signed it. And uh, sort of the rest is history in terms of her career. And she was not done until Spencer Tracy died. Really, I mean, she did a couple of films after that. Okay. She was obviously old and struggling. You can see it on the screen. I'm surprised she allowed that to happen. Be seen. Yeah, especially for her. She was because so, someone for that much intellect and that much yeah. strength and that much internal, internal stability and strength Indeed. to show any form of weakness probably would have been difficult for her. By the time she was out of MGM, she had the power to decide what movies she wanted to make. 